Welcome to the Christ in Us devotional. Today's devotional is titled, Tame Your Tongue. For we all stumble in many things. If anyone does not stumble in word, he is a perfect man, able also to bridle the whole body. Indeed, we put bits in horses' mouths that they may obey us, and we turn their whole body. Look also at ships. Although they are so large and are driven by fierce winds, they are turned by a very small rudder wherever the pilot desires. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasts great things. See how great a forest a little fire kindles, and the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. The tongue is so set among our members that it defiles the whole body and sets on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire by Gehenna. For every kind of beast and bird, of reptile and creature of the sea, is tamed and has been tamed by mankind. But no man can tame the tongue. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. With it we bless our God and Father, and with it we curse men, who have been made in the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceed blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not to be so. Does a spring send forth fresh water and bitter from the same opening? Can a fig tree, my brethren, bear olives, or a grapevine bear figs? Thus no spring yields both salt water and fresh. James chapter 3 verses 2 through 12. As followers of Christ, we are to put off our old man because we were crucified with Christ as stated in Romans chapter 6 verses 5 through 6. For if we have been united together in the likeness of his death, certainly we also shall be in the likeness of his resurrection, knowing this, that our old man was crucified with him, that the body of sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves of sin. The things we did before we were followers of Christ are to be forsaken. We must follow Christ's example and remove all things that offend him. In Colossians chapter 3, verses 8 through 9, we have a list of things we must put out of our lives. But now, you yourselves are to put off all these, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy language out of your mouth. Do not lie to one another since you have put off the old man with his deeds. As we read above from the book of James, it says, The tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. The tongue is so set among our members that it defiles the whole body and sets on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire by Gehenna. Then, in Luke chapter 6, verse 45, it says, A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart brings forth evil. For out of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaks." We see from these scriptures that what we speak reveals the condition of our hearts. We either have a heart defiled by the wickedness of Gehenna, or our heart has been purified by the washing of regeneration by the Holy Spirit. See Titus chapter 3 verse 5. In Ephesians chapter 4 verses 29 through 30, Paul instructs the followers of Christ, Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Paul, in Ephesians chapter 5, verses 3 through 5, also says, But fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not even be named among you, as is fitting for saints neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor coarse jesting, which are not fitting, but rather giving of thanks. For this, you know that no fornicator, unclean person, nor covetous man who is an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. As the saints of God, let us imitate Christ as He, by His grace, imparts to us His divine nature, and with this, tames our tongue so that it will only bring edification to the hearers. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for redeeming me and giving me a new heart. Please help me to put off the old man, the person I used to be, 
and put on the new man in Christ, who was created in true righteousness and holiness. I pray that you put a guard over my mouth so that I will only speak the words that you want me to say, which will bring edification and grace to those who hear. Amen. If you have listened to this devotional but have never repented and asked the Lord to come into your life and would like to do so now, pray this. Heavenly Father, I believe the Lord Jesus died and was raised from the dead according to the Scriptures. I come to you asking for you to forgive me and wash me of all my sins. Please cleanse me from all things that are offensive to you. Please do a work in me according to your will so that I may be with you forever when I die. Teach me your ways and the things that please you. Amen. If you have prayed this, please let us know in the comments. I encourage you to ask the Heavenly Father to guide you to a church where you can be baptized in water and can be taught and grow in the Lord. Seek the Lord Jesus and ask Him to baptize you in the Holy Spirit. God bless you.